Hello, hello. I hope this finds all of you doing great. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Brandon Duye. I am an apparel stylist out of Saratoga Springs, New York. And I wanted to connect with you today to talk to you a little bit more about spring jackets. I find a lot of times, and I work with men, women, and teens, and it's amazing how all of us have similar issues. And a big issue is understanding what's in your closet, what makes sense, and what do you actually need. And um, jackets are one of those things that I find that uh, you either have so many options in there or you have very small pittens and not a lot to work with. So the spring jackets are going to be those things that can also be used in the fall after summer when we start transitioning into fall. Um, maybe these are the jackets, let's say you live like a place like Florida or Arizona or somewhere where you're not having massive seasonal changes. We know that we sometimes we have a little bit of a weather shift and we just need that little something to help protect you from the elements and help your outfit make more sense, right? Um, the whole reason why we wear clothes so that you feel comfortable, so that you're not too hot and you're not too cold. So that's what we're gonna be talking a little bit about today. What are some of those great items that are really helpful for you and why? Why do they make sense? Why would you wanna use them? Just to give you a little bit of clarity. And of course, I am completely available for questions. If you want to post anything in the group, I'm just going to fix something here. Excuse me. Okay. I'm totally open to questions. If you want to post anything, if any of this is unclear, of course, let me know. If we haven't already connected, please do so. I can be found at findyourmoxie.net. That is my website. Moxie is M-O-X-I-E or find your moxie and gusto if you are an Instagram lover. So let's get started. So the first thing we want to think about, you know, and again, of course, it's a lot of this information. It's A, it's going to be my suggestions. B, it's also going to be about you have to really look at your lifestyle and specifically what makes sense for you. So some of this is going to be a little bit general, but hopefully it gives you some at least some starting points so that now you can then go to your wardrobe and look at what do I have and what makes sense? Because in reality, it's, it's ideal that we have things that we actually use, right? That we don't have excess. Um, too many things can take up a lot of room that can lead to clutter, that can lead to disorganization, that can lead to us not actually using our things. And then of course it can just be more stressful. Your environment can be more stressful if you're really just not using the space and being efficient with the things that you own. So this is the perfect time of year to hopefully after this video, you hop in your own closet and really see what is working for me? What am I actually using? Does this fit me? Do I need it? Um, and kind of go from there. So you know, keep in mind again that this, the majority of this information should apply to you, but you might want to be thinking out of the box a little bit. Because of course, we all lead different lifestyles, we all have different preferences, and we all have different needs. So again, if anything is unclear, let me know. So these are just some basic suggestions that I have found really work very well with not only for myself, but also for the variety of people that I that I work with and wherever this may find you. So currently, for instance, I'm in upstate uh, Saratoga Springs, New York. We are having a gnarly chilly day. And of course we have the seasonal shifts here, but I've, I've lived in Arizona for eight years. I know what that's like when you're not maybe, you know, just needing those lighter jackets and you also don't need to have 20 of them. So again, we really wanna be looking at where, what is your lifestyle? What are you needing? So the first one that we're gonna start with is going to be something like this little lovely number. And the nice thing about this that I think is great is it's going to be very, very light. So it's not gonna necessarily be like a trench coat, it's cotton, but it's something that we wanna be able to, uh, one, one big thing when we're looking at our clothing, regardless what season you're in, regardless of what type of garment you're looking at, I think there's a lot of value to be said for it. Can you get more out of it? Meaning, can we layer it? Can we use it in other ways? So this is something that I've worn in the middle of winter. Maybe it's something it, that we, maybe we were having a 40 degree day, maybe it was a 20 degree, but I've layered it with other things that rather their pieces in. So it doesn't have to be something that I only bring out just when it's March or just when it's the, the beginning of fall. So what is lovely about this is it's gonna give us length, which is awesome. So having something like this that is going to be, you're gonna be covered, your bottom's gonna be covered, but you're not lost in a ton of fabric. So this is gonna be great to let's say you're wearing your leggings and you're doing a you know a cute little booty or something, uh, your little slip-on sandal, a little sneaker, something that you just you want to be covered. But we also want to be we don't want to be lost in too much fabric. 
One thing I really love about this is, of course, we have the pockets, which is functional. We have a hood. You know, hood is going to be kind of personal preference. It's really going to be up to you. I don't tend to use my hoods a lot. Um, it's got to be a nice big pick up a win for me to use a ha excuse me to use a hood, but that's just my personal my personal thing. Um, and then the the other really lovely thing about this is we want to just be taking in. How does it fit your body? How does it fall on your body? The fit of it, can you put some layers underneath it uh, so that as your as your temperature changes that you, you are, you're gonna feel comfortable and you're gonna have options. But a very big thing that really is uh, an important thing to point out is when you're dealing with something that's gonna be a little bit on the longer side here, so this is gonna be coming to kind of the mid thigh, maybe a little higher depending on your height, of course, that takes up a big part of the body. And so then if let's say if we're zipping it up or anything, we want to be mindful of essentially not looking like a big block, a big block of, of, of color, a big block of just something, because it can um, sometimes make us look heavier. Yes, we can be covered, which is perfect, which is really, really important, but we also want to be just mindful of how we're putting things together, because at the end of the day, of course, we all want it to feel comfortable, we want to be functional, but we also want to make sure that we're really, that we're looking our best, right? We all want it at the end of the day to look our best. We're not necessarily getting dressed for other people, but we want to feel really good in what we're wearing and know that it looks really good on us. So in many other videos, I talk about how to balance outfits, how to put things together, why they work, why they don't. And so I'm not gonna spend any time on that today because I wanna be sensitive to everybody's time, but just being mindful when we're closing up something, if we're having a big old block of color. So where I'm going with that is something like this, yes, you can break it up with a scarf or what have you, but a really nice thing about this is we can cinch the waist. So that is going to enable you to, if you are gonna be zipping it up all, or you're just wearing, whoops, you're just wearing it as so, I knew that was bound to happen to me one of these days. We're just wearing it as so, that's gonna give you the benefit where it's gonna cinch the waist a little bit, and essentially it just balances out the shape that much more. It's taking away from that block, and it's just pulling in at the waistline a little bit more. Um, that just creates the illusion of balancing the body. So that's gonna make a big difference. So this is gonna be one that I, something along those lines that I think would be really great to have. It's different than a parka, like some of those that maybe it's a Lands Inn or a North Face, a heavier uh, wicking material, that's going to be a completely different type of jacket. And again, you want to look at what do you have right now? What are you using? What makes sense for your lifestyle? So this would just be one suggestion. Another suggestion would be something that's kind of along the lines of a, some type of vest, some type of vest. Um, and, and again, this is, you can see, this is a very similar idea to compared to the one that I just showed you. It's, a, it's along the same family of it. Ever, of course, it's gonna be in a vest form. It's still gonna have a hood, but we can remove this hood. Hood, I could still cinch it or not, whatever I wanna do there. Um, but a vest is gonna be great because again, it gives you the ability to be able to layer. It can also kind of have a lighter feel to it. Let's say if we have, like how many times do we leave the house and it starts as one temperature, and then by 2 p.m. it's something completely different and then we get out at four or five and then we're dealing with something different. So knowing that maybe you're starting the day where it's chilled, but then you know it's gonna get lighter, so maybe you have a lighter sleeve underneath this and then you have a nice big blanket scarf or something to cover you up and gloves or what have you, you can, you can um, un unlayer as you go and not have a lot of fabric to work with. So some, some vibe of a vest is really great. This could even be in something thicker, like if we think of our puffier vest, our puffier winter jackets, um, that could also be super cute in more of a vest form. You could do something like that as well. So, and again, the cinch waist, that can be great, but please don't take this like literally, like you can only get a vest with a cinch waist. Like it's just an option. These are just kind of things to look at and um, it's just nice to have those options. Okay, so the next one, so those are two basics that I would say some, some version of that in your wardrobe. The next one I would say is always having, you know, can't go wrong with a jean jacket, right? A jean jacket is just great for, again, year round. You can roll up the sleeves, you can change the vibe of it. It's a great layering piece, which is super wonderful. I would just say, be cautious of the type of color of jean that you have. Like A, we don't need eight of them. B, what do you tend to wear most of? Like you're either probably gonna be in the camp of super duper dark or something like this that's gonna be kind of that more traditional color. Um, just kind of think about, you know, pause with what are you more drawn towards? Like for myself, I have something that's this in this family and then I have a darker one and that's it. That's all I have for my jean jackets. Um, so something in the jean jacket family is gonna be great. And I would say too, like sometimes with jean jackets, we can start to have so many 
And we, again, want to be looking at, but what am I actually using? What it actually feels comfortable in my body? If you have something just because it's cute, but really in reality, a couple hours into your errands or whatever, you just can't wait to get it off you, well, that says something. Then from my perspective, it's not very functional because it's not very comfortable. Thankfully, we live in a time that you can have so many cute things and it, you don't have to sacrifice the comfort to be cute. So just an FYI there. But so some type of jean jacket is gonna be awesome. And then doing some type of trench can be really helpful too. So if we think kind of that rain jacket type thing, what do you have? Something that's gonna be a waterproof. So can never go wrong with a classic trench. Um, this is one that has some lovely piping, some of that beautiful detail, which is gonna be kind of nice. Has a little bit of the leather piping, which is lovely. You know, all these features have just, it adds some structure and a polished element. And this can be super cute with, let's say you're doing leggings or a fitted jean, or you need to throw it over a dress. Like all of these things can be very versatile in different situations, which is great, which is really just the key. We wanna have things that can work in a lot of different outfits because sometimes what happens is you can have a cute little number on, you've spent so much time putting together your outfit, you look phenomenal, you feel great, you go to grab that jacket because it is, you're walking into something outside, and sometimes the jacket and the pieces, those are still accessories. Sometimes that can take away from your actual outfit. And, you know, it, it's, it's not like, I'm not saying that it's necessarily wrong, but your, it can be part of your outfit, I guess is what I'd say. Just like we want to have things for different reasons. We want to have jeans for certain situations. We want to have certain shoes for situations. I would um, suggest that jackets are no different. So some type of trench is a great one to have. Now on a side note, I don't know if any of you saw, um, I know I'm connected with some of you, I just brought on a company that's for some really great workout options as well as casual options. We have four different lines to pull from. Just released this beautiful trench style suede. Oh my gosh, it's so, so beautiful. There's this buttery tan, um, there's a beautiful olive. So something like that could be another option. You wouldn't necessarily need both of these, but again, it gives you a different option. And that is under 170, which is great. And you know, honestly, a lot of these things, if you take care of them, you can get 20 years out of them. I mean, so it's, it's really about being mindful where you're putting your money and really what makes sense for you. So if you want to, if you want any more information on that, let me know. I'm doing an awesome special right now on those pieces. They go fast and they are available extra small all the way up to 3X. So you gotta love that, right? Anyway, so having a nice classic trench can be awesome. And the nice thing about the trench too is we can open the um, the belt and just tie it in the back so it can be out of the way and secure. Uh, but again, it's another opportunity to layer up your outfit and then have something that's functional and going to protect you too. And then I would also say have something in your closet like it that is going to be great for um, running about errands. Um, maybe you want to go on a hike. So you and again, this is where you have to assess your lifestyle. So like for me. I have a couple of these. I have something like this. It's just gonna be an, a nice little, uh, A, it's gonna be waterproof. B, it's got some pockets. It's got a little bit of a lining, which is really great. Um, and then I have something that's a little bit lighter that I've had from, I, I wanna say it was Eddie Bauer, it doesn't really matter, but you know, it's lighter, it's, it's a more, it's a little closer to the first one I showed you. And that's also, again, really great for a hike and what have you, it's just gonna be a little bit of a lighter feel. So it might be one of those like, do you wanna get this? But then maybe it's getting it, and also think about the color, maybe you're getting in black. That's a big thing. We want to think about the colors that you're wearing so that you can interchange them. If I just got this in purple, but I don't wear purple a lot, well, then I might feel limited. How often am I going to actually bring it out and wear it, right? So having something that, that can be a little bit more Unitarian, that can work with your lifestyle, um, that's going to make sense for you. So as an example, we have a lovely makeup artist, Brianna. She's amazing. And she is on set a lot. Makeup artists, commercials, uh, movies, what have you. So she is sometimes in a lot of elements. She's outside, she's doing makeup. She is in all different types of temperatures. Sometimes she, she's inside. So for her lifestyle, because it's a very big part of her world, she's probably gonna wanna have a little bit, her, her area of this type of thing is gonna be beefed out a little bit more. I mean, she's also gonna want a little bit of a heavier parka, right? Because when you're outside a lot, it gets damp, you're standing there, you're not moving around a lot. So for her, that's where we need to assess her lifestyle, what makes sense for her. So she might be beefing these out a little bit more where the person who's not spending their time like that 
they don't need a bunch of these. So, but having something like that is going to be really important. You know, we maybe you just got a you're traveling, you're you're going on a, a boat in the morning, and it's it's chilly. You're you're um, we got a, a surprise snowdrop, and you got to get out there and shovel. Like just thinking about again your lifestyle. Where does your lifestyle take you? So those are the ones I would say that are gonna be your basics. And again, think about your color, look for your lifestyle. Do you have something that's waterproof in there too? Those are gonna be your basic ones that, that I would suggest have, having some type of variation of those. And so if you don't already, those would be some really good ones to add on. Now from here, then we start looking at, okay, well, I mean, there's some super cute things out there. What do I need versus what do I want? I always really come from that place of let's talk about what you need first. In reality, from my perspective, how we look at clothing, there's something to be said for each season. You're really just bettering your situation. So that for an example, next season, next winter, where, wherever this finds you, you're not panicky, overspending, um, buying at the last minute, spending more than you really wanted to and just buying out of that stress, right? That's just not a fun way to do it. And it ends up being sometimes we buy more than we actually need and use, we spend more, we end up with more clutter and it's just more stressful all the way around. And I would advocate that it's just not a very efficient way to shop. So if we are looking at each season, making sure what are those things that you actually need versus you just want, and then cover those basics from there the things that you actually need. And then from there you can add on, okay, well what are those things that I want that now make sense to add in? Then each season reassessing. So as an example, we're coming out of the winter right now. This is a great time to make, make notes on terms of what are you letting go of? What is maybe tired or it's lost its integrity that you are just, you're ready to, up, you're ready to um, update it, right? Maybe it's a winter boot, maybe it's gloves or what have you. Make a note of that now, write it down, stay organized. Um, a, you're gonna be able to take advantage of some sales that are gonna be coming up. B, you know that next fall, you can go back to that list and look at it and see, okay, right, yes, right, I need gloves, I need that winter boot, and you can stay ahead of it. So you're not waiting for the snow to fall or what have you. So if we, again, look at covering each season and just really bettering our situation and maintaining your world when it comes to the dressing and the closet, how you spend money, um, where you're putting your energy, also the space, is it efficient, does it make sense? Um, some of us live in very small places and we have a little bit to work with and, and some of us have more spaces and sometimes more spaces is not ideal, right? It's like the big purse more gets lost in there. I'm an advocate for the big purse because that works for my lifestyle, but you know where I'm going with this. Everybody is different. So do what makes sense. So we've just talked about some of those basics in terms of the coats that are going to be really helpful. Now we start looking at like maybe some other things that would be fun. Maybe you want to have something like you know, a cute little leather jacket, right? So this is gonna have a little bit of a different feel. It's gonna have a nice cute little um, snap in here, which is gonna be really great. It's just gonna be a nice way to be cute and gathered. It's a really pretty blush, which is lovely. It's got some feminine detail in the back, which is awesome. But again, we wanna be looking at, okay, colors. What, what are those colors that I'm drawn towards? Are these things easy to match? Um, I have one in this that's similar to this, this blush. And I also have one that's in a really fun buttery yellow. Um, I'm probably not gonna get something like in a bright green. As an example, I have a rain jacket in a bright green. It's totally cute, I love it, um, but that's not the one that I go to all the time because it doesn't go with a lot of things. So you always just wanna be assessing how much use are you gonna be able to get out of those colors? And again, do you really need it? So now if we're talking about adding in some other casual jackets that can be great for those in between seasons, this can be super cute. You could pair this with a tank top. You could pair it with a turtleneck. You, know, you can get a lot of use out of it as we're in those in-between seasons. And then maybe we're doing something fun, like maybe you're doing a corduroy thing. Um, maybe you're doing a different version of a jean jacket. This is also going a completely different direction. There's got a lot of colors in here, which is fun. Cute little detailed buttons. It's gonna be a little on the shorter side. Um, which can be great, you know, it's got a totally different vibe, right? But I'm not gonna bring this out seven days a week. It's just not gonna be realistic for, for how I'm dressing and um, unless you're wearing similar things all the time. So again, this is a really, these are really fun pieces to add in, but we again, wanna be just be mindful how often are you wearing them. So do what makes sense. And those are just some examples and we, obviously we could go on and on, but again, at the end of the day, we just wanna be efficient with your space, we wanna be efficient with where you're putting your finances, 
what actually works for your body type, what you enjoy wearing. And honestly, sometimes like I'd love to see you do is now with this information, go back to your closet, see what you actually have, assess, put it on, see how it fits. Is it comfortable? Do you like it? Do you see yourself wearing it? Check the integrity of the garment. Does it have anything that needs to be altered or fixed? Um, it doesn't have any wear and tear, so assess that. And then from there, make a sound decision. Okay, what do I need? What do I wanna keep? And then going forward. Sometimes it can be, oh my goodness, I totally forgot I had this. You know what, let me try it out, let me put it on. And you might decide after wearing it for a little while, you, you realize, yep, this is just not comfortable. It keeps riding up or something's digging or yeah, it just feels too small. I just don't like it. I don't know why, but I just don't like it. Spend time with the things that you've already spent money on and that you have and that's gonna give you more information to then make a decision from there. Does it make sense to get rid of it? All right, so I hope this has been helpful. A couple of the things I want to bring up to you. So if you are, again, if you wanna connect on that suede jacket, let me know, it is beautiful. And again, they sell out fast. So that's gonna be the trench that's in suede. Very, very unique. I would so be buying it myself. If I didn't buy a suede um, leather combo-y thing a little while ago that was in a trench form. Because again, that's not. I love it, it's not something I need, and I'm gonna enjoy the other one first. So connect with me if that's something you're, you're interested in. If you're not already um, into my women's uh, private group, please, please consider joining. We have a lot of fun in there. There's a lot of great tips, really great quality of women, all different walks of life, ages, sizes, and um, all around the world, which is awesome. And that's just a really great place to receive more confidence, get some style tips, um, put, especially right now, we're just wanting to surround ourselves uh, among positivity, but also real people, right? Real, real people so that we can talk about real issues that's coming up for us. So I will post that, the link as well. If you haven't already joined that, that's the private Facebook group. Definitely connect with me on Instagram. We have a um, awesome style talk class that's coming up. So that's a really wonderful opportunity to be able to ask style questions for me directly, um, to be able to get some outfit feedback. Maybe you have some of the jackets in your wardrobe and you're wondering like, oh, should I keep this? Does it work? I don't know. What do I wear it with? We have so many of those that tend to come up, right, when we're getting dressed. So if you want to take advantage of that and stay in the loop as those happen, because they do fill up fast, and I like to keep them um, very limited in space so we can really get the time to, so we're not on a three hour call and we're really able to spend some time together and get your questions answered. And you're also able to learn from the other women in the group too, which is super lovely. So those are our style talk events. So if you wanna be included in that, please visit the website and get your name subscribed so you don't miss out. Um, I run a lot of different specials and would love to have you take advantage of some of the tips and everything that comes up. And again, that's going to be findyourmoxie.net is where you're going to want to subscribe. So you don't want to take, you don't want to miss out on that for sure. Um, so anyway, please let me know how this was for you. I hope it got you thinking. Let me know if you have any questions. If you're struggling with a jacket and you just don't know, should I keep this, should I not? Consider doing our style talk class. If you want to reach out to me directly and get some feedback, I'd be happy to help you. Um, obviously, I support clients in person as well as virtual. So there's so many different ways that I can support you and get you feeling just a little bit more confident in the closet. And you know, side note, it's so easy right now to get into that thought process of, well, I'm not going anywhere. So what does it matter, right? What does it matter what I'm wearing? I'm not seeing anybody. Um, it just doesn't matter. I'll wait until I am feeling better and I'm able to go places and see people. Well, as a suggestion, COVID has, let's, you know, let's be honest, it's been crazy town, it's been hard, and if anything, it's been a really good opportunity to look at, all right, well, what can I do with this extra time? What can I, where can I put my energy and efforts, right? I think that this is a wonderful time to look at where can you up your skills, where can you spend this time working on your confidence, because if you are feeling more confident and grounded, you're not only gonna do so much better right now, you're gonna feel more in control. And let's be honest, there's so much right now that we don't have control over. This is a great opportunity to feel empowered, to feel grounded, and to feel like, I got this. And to be able to work on something while we kind of have this downtime, so that if you're spending time working on, let's say, your closet, or how you can feel more comfortable and confident, then as we start transitioning back into when, when our schedules and our lives are looking a little bit more traditional, you're already ahead of the game. If we wait for that, it's kind of just that one more thing to be to be working on. So it's kind of like catching up on your, all your laundry, right? Like what are those things that you can do right now? Um, those tasks that are gonna lower your stress level, up your confidence and up your skill set. 
Because when we do that, again, we're gonna feel more calm, we're gonna feel empowered, we're gonna feel more excited. If you are needing some inspiration on decluttering your spaces, whether it's your closet, your pantry, you know, your, your basement walk-in area, whatever, we do have an event coming up. It's an online challenge, which is awesome. It's a whole week. We're throwing some different, um, different things in here to get you getting your spaces clean, getting you decluttered, and, um, and and really just enjoying your space. And sometimes it's just nice to have some accountability. So definitely want to take advantage of that. Again, get on the findyourmoxie.net so you can be kept in the loop of that. And that is also happening this spring too. So again, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Brandon today of Moxie. I look forward to connecting with all of you if we have not already. And have an amazing afternoon. Take care.